There is a vibe or a power that you feel here that is unlike anything I've, I've ever felt any place else. And for me, it grew with every moment in the Tigre and every trout that I touched. Deep within the uncharted land of Argentina lays the fisherman's utopia, an untouched paradise that provides a magical backdrop for a new documentary by local filmmaker Travis Lowe. It's a story that began to take shape three and a half years ago after hearing of a friend's journey into the region. And I said, well, what's the story with these brook trout? And he said, oh, there's no story there. And then he went on to proceed to talk to me for 30 minutes about one day they had in this beautiful, magnificent river in Argentina in the Andes Mountain on the border of Chile. And when he finished, I said, we've got to make a film about that. With the story taking shape around the brook trout fishery in Argentina, the Kelowna native knew he was onto something, but it wasn't until he came across one of the oldest fishing records on file, a 100-year-old brook trout record, that he knew he had a feature film. And once I found that story, I realized that I had something, to, a framework, which to hang the entire film on. So we had something other than just a couple of guys going fishing in Argentina. But what really happened on that trip remains a mystery and may just be a world-class, world record, white lie. The film, Finding Fontanalis, is not only a story of record-breaking trout, but it also carries a strong message of environmental conservation, beginning with the destruction of the fish habitat on the Nipigon River in Ontario. The impact of the fishery was just horrendous. Man's engineering prowess replaced Mother Nature's magic as a series of dams made the Nipigon a hydro superpower and continuing to the pristine landscapes and flourishing brook trout fishery in Argentina. It's a brook trout fishery, 100%. And that means clear, cold water. And that's what we have to make sure that it keeps on being like that. It's really important to me that people enjoy this film even if they don't fly fish. And so I try and make my films available to a broad audience. And this isn't just a fly fishing film. This is a film about history. And it's a film about conservation. It has themes that can relate to people no matter what. Even if you don't fly fish, I think you'd really enjoy watching this film. You know, the scenery itself is absolutely spectacular. Production of the film included four trips to Argentina, as well as Chile, California, Oregon, Montana, Idaho, Florida, and Ontario. It was made possible thanks to funding by outdoor fishing company Patagonia. I had basically an unlimited resources behind me because of Patagonia. They said, we want to make this film, let's make this film. And every time I said, I need this, I have to go here, we need this, we got to do this, they funded it. So I was extremely fortunate, and I'll never have that opportunity again. The film will have its public premiere on November 5th in Kelowna at the annual Fly Fishing Film Festival. The evening will include two short films, a live band, and the screening of the 70-minute feature film. 100% of proceeds from the event will support the local chapter of Trout Unlimited Canada. But the more we fished, the more the idea of catching a new world record brook trout seemed to fade like a distant memory. And Augie spoke of something much deeper, a mysterious connection with the Tigre that he couldn't explain. That's a real Patagonia for me. You have to be there to understand it. For more information on the film, visit FindingFontanalis.com. Reporting for Go on Shaw TV, I'm Brendan Osborne in Kelowna.